So the biggest news probably um, in the sports world right now, besides the Olympics, is Aaron Rodgers is back in Green Bay. And after his first day of camp today, he had a pretty, um, I'm not going to say, he just was completely honest um, in his press conference and just kind of aired out everything to everyone so that everybody was aware of what was going on and where he stood and kind of what he wants going forward, basically, and addressing it to the media and not just keeping it quiet, quiet between him and the Packers behind closed doors. Now the world knows what he wants. Are the Packers going to be stupid enough to not do it? (laughs) It's basically what's kind of happening here. All the pressure is on the Packers to be able to make everything that he wants happen, basically. Um, Yeah, he just said he basically... The biggest thing was he just wants to be involved in conversations that affect his ability to be able to do his job. He said that multiple times today um, in the con in his press conference. And he wants to basically help the organization learn from some of the mistakes they made in the past, letting go some of the players. That was like his biggest thing was the core, the character that they had in the locker room when they won that championship in 2011 And then they just got rid of everybody basically year after year after that and not keeping the core group together, which is so much more important than talent. Um, You could have all the talent in the world, but if you don't, guys don't get along and you're shitty people towards each other, you're not going to win. And yeah, he, when he was going, he almost rattled off a dozen names, like instantly, like just boom, 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 boom. Like this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and it starts with Charles Woodson, who was a huge cornerstone winning it, winning us the Super Bowl. Then next was Julius Peppers, huge cornerstone in helping us win the Super Bowl. You know, like Randall Cobb. Now he's coming back, thankfully. You know, we got rid of Jordy Nelson when he wanted to take the league minimum to retire in Green Bay. Oh, fuck you, Jordy. Mm-hmm. Like, th- they're not the best at treating people the best. And – he wants to be involved in that going for, you know, try to change the culture of green Bay a little bit and make it a little bit more friendly. And then him addressing the green Bay isn't a vacation destination. You know, it's not warm here year round. It's not sunny out every day. People come here to play with me. They want to win. And I'm happy that he addressed that, you know, like he's putting his foot down in, I'm, I'm glad that he's doing it. Yeah, I am too. And a lot of things you said are kind of the same points I wrote down um, as far as the Packers weren't using him as a resource, talking about free agents, even recruiting during the off season, the draft. He said that he had, he put together lists and notes of certain players and certain things to go after. And they just, throw it in the trash and he said that they'd basically not take anything he said into consideration um and that that's frustrating when you've been a part of that organization for 16 going on into his 17th year to where they just look at him as a qb1 and that's it um and maybe having influence on second third fourth string quarterbacks and that's about all all it is and then well and especially real quick sorry to cut you off but i just wanted to get this in especially for him, a guy who cares so much about Green Bay. Like, he actually loved, loves being in Green Bay. He loved it. Who knows if that's going to be that going forward after this point. But, like, when you have a guy who loves being there and wants to make the organization better, like, why what the fuck wouldn't you listen to the guy? Yeah. Yeah, at least your remote. Look at, like, whether they looked at what he brought to the table and said, oh, we don't want to do that or didn't look at it at all. Like he's a smart guy. He's arguably one of the highest QB or uh, IQs in the game. Yeah, he's a nerd. You can't you can't not listen to the guy when he has so- something to say. Um, obviously he ha- he's built relationships with other players, other coaches, other organizations from being in the league as long as he has. Like the Packers front office only knows the Packers. That's their focus. Is what can we do to make our team better? Rodgers has been around the league to know and see what other teams do and obviously pick up on some of the good things and bad things other teams do and be able to kind of 
sift through all of it and throw the good things at the Packers and say, this is the knowledge I've gained over the years. Take a look at this and see what you guys think. And they just basically said no. And then, um, which kind of led to, at one point, Rodgers did force his hand about being uh, traded if the Packers weren't going to use him beyond his um, quarterback duties as to where, um, uh, what did he say in this conference? If you have another option, then do it. It was basically like how he kind of worded uh, wanting to be traded, that if you if you don't see me having a future here, then get rid of me now is basically yeah, what unquote, he was saying. Quote, unquote, he said, I felt like if you can't commit to me past 2021 and I'm not a part of your recruiting process and free agency, if I'm not a part of the future, then instead of letting me be a lame duck quarterback, if you want to make a change and move forward, then go ahead and do it now. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what he said. And, um, yeah, I mean, everything you said in the press conference today, none of it was childish. None of it was blown out of proportion. It was from the heart, very methodical. You could tell that he's been thinking about how he's going to conduct himself in this first press conference coming out of this offseason. Um, although a lot of it was a lot of kind of seem like hurt feelings and then kind of taking subtle shots at the organization – um, there were some good things to take out of it. He said he um, was optimistic on being with the organization beyond 21 and that he doesn't want anybody to give up on him. So, um, I mean, I, given how things look right now, that's obviously great for him to say that he's optimistic about staying with the team beyond this year. Uh, obviously, so long as they go on to have a successful year, um, try to get back to an NFC championship, hopefully a Super Bowl. Uh, that kind of changes the narrative of him wanting to stay. But, um, yeah, I mean, the Packers are a winning team, but right now they don't have a winning culture, and those are two very different things.